In this video, we're gonna go through seven different drone moves that you should try the next time you're out flying, all right? Let's get into it. Get the drone high up so you can see a vast landscape. And now you're gonna pull left on the right joystick. It's simple, but it's always gonna look good. Now to take this a step further, pull right on the left joystick. This creates an arcing orbit motion. But when you pair this with a super wide landscape, it's gonna add more motion into the footage. Bonus, use a zoom lens like a 3X on the Air 3 and find a shot with multiple layers. And if there's a mountain in the distance, use this shot to reveal it. You're gonna start with the gimbal facing straight down at the ground. Now push forward on the right joystick while pulling up on the gimbal. This creates a reveal so that as the gimbal rises, you have a subject in the distance that appears in the frame. And to make this more dynamic, you wanna film in 60 frames per second. And when the gimbal reveals your subject, slow down your footage. You could also add a zoom out in your editing software to create a unique dolly zoom. This is the perfect shot to start a video show a new location, or reveal something epic in your video. You're gonna pull left on the right joystick. That's it. However, it's all about how you position the drone in relation to your subject. You wanna create layers and depth. So for this shot here, I have three distinct layers. In the foreground, the drone is the same height as the Jeep, and the drone is moving the same speed as the Jeep. In the middle is a hillside that's moving the other direction, and in the distance, there's a tall mountain. Now, when you pull left on the right joystick, you'll keep that subject centered the entire time. And even though it's a simple move, you'll create a dynamic shot with a ton of movement because each layer is moving at a different speed while your drone is following that subject. Bonus points, use a zoom lens to enhance this shot even more. You'll want to position your gimbal so that it's facing downwards at your subject or at your location. Now you're gonna wanna do one of the two following stick motions. Pull left on the right joystick and right on the left joystick, or right on the right joystick and left on the left joystick. This will create an orbit, but the key with this shot is framing out the horizon so that you're filling your frame without any skyline in the shot. This will create focus and a different perspective to the scene that you're filming. You're gonna push up on the right joystick, which will cause the drone to move forward. And then you're gonna pull down on the left joystick, which will cause the drone to drop towards the ground. The key with this shot is that you're flying towards a subject on the ground. You wanna start high in the sky with a big landscape style shot. And then as you move forward and down, you fly closer and closer to your subject. Now, the shot is perfect for starting a scene or shifting focus from the bigger landscape to a specific thing in your shot. However, chasing a moving object looks even better because you'll have to fly the drone faster to keep up with your subject, and as you get closer to the ground, the shot will feel faster and faster. You're gonna push forward and to the right on the right joystick while pulling left on the left joystick. This is an orbit with forward motion. Oftentimes we get stuck in the habit of always doing the same orbit around a subject when we put our drone in the sky. However, when you add a motion like a push forward, it creates a more dynamic shot that not only circles around your subject, but also just feels different. Now for bonus, start super wide and use more forward motion. And when you do this, get down low and fly in sport mode so you're passing objects in the foreground. Think of moving in this way. You wanna have the drone moving at a different pace and in a different direction than your subject. So for this shot, start with an arc. Now pull right with the left joystick and left with the right joystick. Now have your subject in a frame and stop somewhere in the shot. These kind of shots look very cinematic because the drone is moving on its own path and the subject is doing something different. You don't always wanna have your subject in the center of your frame like this. Rather, you wanna come up with a variation of movements where the drone is moving separate than the subject. If you want to keep these drone moves in your pocket at all time, I have a set of drone move cards that you can download onto your phone and then select a series of them to use when you're out filming so that you can always have a variety of shots. Now, if you want to see some more drone moves on how to get interesting looking footage when you're out flying, check out this video right here. And if you're someone who wants to grow a YouTube channel, make sure you head to thecreatorfilmschool.com. It's my course series on how to grow a YouTube channel and how I grew this channel to where it is today. I'll see you on the next one.